Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we are gonna be finishing up the single last achievement we have yet to do, which is the greatest jubilee, which you get by defeating the guy who gives you both the seventh trumpet as well as the mirror relic. Basically, to unlock this guy, you first have to get every single other relic, uh, then you have to pick one of the relics it gives you, which is gonna unlock one more game mode. Uh, I picked the mirror so it unlocked the inverse mode, then completing a map in inverse mode. Uh, unlocks the second relic and then by going into endless mode and then quitting from that it allows you to go to the map a third time which is going to be a boss fight uh, so i'm going to pick limit break and arcanus here i almost picked queen sigma by accident earlier uh, but i feel like that might be too easy so this is the guy that gives you the relics but now he's probably going to turn into a boss fight at least that's what i'm assuming okay I can't read any of that. But enough talk. Have at you. Okay. I feel like with Queen Sigma this is way too easy, right? Okay, we unlock the whip. I am gonna still go for the victory sword. Uh... I'm actually gonna just turn the audio down just a bit. Okay, Soup. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. It's really loud for me. I can't hear anything else. <laughs> like, I can't even hear my own thoughts. Uh, we are gonna reroll here. I could upgrade the guns. Mm. But I'm gonna reroll again. Iragisu, which is required to actually evolve the item, so that's kind of fine. Okay. Oh. Oh, he has projectile attacks. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, duplicator. Yes, siree. One of my favorite items. Uh, maybe even my favorite item. I just love getting, like, just getting an extra projectile on every single ability is amazing at first i didn't think it was that good because i didn't realize that basically everything in the game is a projectile like the whip strike it's actually a projectile even though that makes absolutely no sense it's not like you'd throw a whip but still an amazing item uh i'm not gonna upgrade my hollow heart no i'm gonna upgrade the red one there And as far as I can tell, there isn't a time limit at all in this. So basically, it just takes how, however long it takes for you to beat him. Oh. Okay. I think we could go for the spinach here. What we really want to be doing is evolving the whip as soon as possible so we actually gain some of the life back uh, whenever we end up taking damage. I mean at the end of the day we do have like the chicken drops as well but they might just not be enough on their own once this actually gets going. I'm assuming it's gonna be a bit harder than this. Uh, once we deal enough damage to him. And uh, let's just upgrade this again. Why not? And I doubt the freeze abilities work on him, so I'm probably not gonna go that route. Although we don't even have the uh, required items to actually evolve them in the first place. Okay, Tarona's box seems a bit dangerous. However, I would really like a victory sword, so I'm gonna pick that and just really, really hope that we get <laughs> that we get the victory sword, because otherwise that might just mess up my whole game. Because it, it has like a huge amount of curse, and if we end up cursing the boss fight, then it's gonna be infinitely harder, right? Well, twice as hard, but still. Oh. 
Okay. Is it actually twice harder? Twice harder, or is it actually... Hmm. I'm not sure how, how much harder it actually is, but it's significantly harder, right? Yeah, we could take the Tiragisu to drop it off of our drop table completely, and I think I'm gonna do that. Who knows, we, we, we might even like end up actually needing to use it, so... Oh. Okay, dodged. And the red one again. Wait, what is that? Why does he keep making the noise? Oh, we're destroying the masks. Oh. Is this gonna have like a second phase of the boss fight or are we just actually dealing enough damage to him? Oh yeah, there's a second phase, right? Okay, so he has like AOE attacks now. Oh. And the enemies became significantly harder. Oh yeah, that's... That's harsh. But I doubt this is the last phase, so I think picking the crown here is actually just worth... Wait, what? He just summons the Grey Death. How are we supposed to even deal with that? Or can we just actually run from it? I'm so used to just dying whenever I see it that I didn't even consider that maybe I could just run. Okay, wait, no, we can't outrun it. Wait, so how are we supposed to avoid that attack? Um, I'm confused. Okay, so here he comes again. What am I gonna do? I literally can't escape it, excuse me? Are we actually just supposed to defeat this phase of the boss fight as soon as possible so he doesn't have time? Or well, that might be it. Because we only have to destroy the heads, right? Okay. This is the mode where he summons the death as well, right? Like during those attacks. That's when he did it before. Oh. Yeah, how am I supposed to deal with... Oh, victory sword, though. That's hype. Uh, now I'm just gonna actually focus on upgrading that, because... <laughs> All else seems to be failing. Oh. Give me the XP, please. Ooh. Also, I'm not sure if we even actually get to evolve the items. I haven't seen any chests so far. Okay. Also, they added a new Twitch mode as well into the game. Uh, where basically your viewers get to uh, vote on what item you get. And uh, I might actually end up playing that on stream as well. Okay. Okay, there's another death. How are we supposed to survive that? Um, I'm gonna just re-roll for something better, okay. We keep getting XP here, though, which is nice. There's just too many of them. There's no way we can survive all of this. Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah, re-roll. Whip. Why not? Okay, these seem to be kind of pushovers, though. Okay, I'm gonna just upgrade the gun, why not? Yep, 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh. oh, we get all this XP. Oh, lovely. Oh, do we just like evolve everything we have then? Is that the point? Because I'm seeing the chest thingies go off in the sidelines as well. Okay, I'm so confused. <laughs> Did we beat it? Is that what's going on? What is going on here? Did we win? Surely not. Oh. Congratulations, Pugnala Provola. The vampire is not here. Perhaps we shall find them in another world. If you'll just take my hand. Okay. Yes, sir. We beat it. Oh, my God. On first try as well. Greatest Jubilee. The last achievement. Now I have completed every single achievement in the game. And that's just kind of amazing, right? <laughs> yep. Best with luck. Oh, it's an equipment. We can actually use it whenever I actually stream the game. But yeah, that was the boss fight. That was the last achievement in the game. And it's the credits. Oh my god. I've been playing this game for so long and we finally got to the credits. That's amazing. Oh, we have all the characters going around. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's the enemies as well. I've spent way too much time on this game, but I love it still. You'd think I'd get bored of the game, but nope. Oh, and there's like the secret characters as well. Oh my god, I love that. Bad trailers, <laughs> Luca Galante. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yep, yep. I'm gonna watch uh, the credits here. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna have my Twitch linked in the description as well. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be streaming this game, but I am gonna be streaming this at least a couple of times, I think. Uh, with that Twitch mod. I think it's gonna be interesting. Interesting to see whether or, you, or not you wanna like ruin my day or just... <laughs> just help me out. Ooh. Wait, we have the XP gem moving along as well. <laughs> Hi, Eli. Who is Eli? I'm confused. Is it like a friend of the developers or something? But yeah. I wonder if this is gonna... Okay, it's repeating the characters now. Yep, so that was the... Okay. <laughs> I was one, I was kind of confused there. Yeah, that was the boss. And now we have the game basically completed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the boss fight. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.